Yeah, this is Aziz Romeo representing for Zion Sound International and the Noram family. Now big up to Baba Zion, Tafari, Prince Patrick, Kadamawe, Empress Tara, Princess Naya, Princess Kami. You don't know Aziz Romeo, say big up yourself. Now big up to Jamaica, Bahamas, Texas and the whole Noram family. Run it. Last up, y'all people. Welcome to another edition of Street Smugglers Growing Hemp in Texas. We got a busy mo uh, morning ahead of us right now in the garden. Uh, got quite a few things we got going on. Want to do some light pruning today. Um, we also want to be setting some of these uh, sticky traps for white fly and amphids and so on and so forth. Um, so without any delay, let's just get right into the garden. And let's get to work. Here's Cheeto, our trusty guard cat. Just for sell a million dollar license. You can see the girl. My ladies. For those of you who's the first time uh, checking out the channel, the cultivar that we're growing, or the strain that we're growing, Queen Dream Seeds. And they are from Blue Forest Farms out of Longmont, Colorado. They're growing those in five gallon smart pots with Fox Farm Ocean Forest soil. So this one's in a one gallon smart pot, but that's going to be transplanted pretty soon. So, what we're going to be doing this morning is just some light pruning and putting out some of these sticky traps, any amphids, white flies, moth, so on and so forth. If you tuned in last week, uh, you saw we transplanted one of the plants from a one gallon to a five gallon. That's that lady right there. As you can see she's taking real good to the transplant. Oh, we'll also be doing some uh, super cropping on a couple of the, the plants. So, yeah, like I said, we got a busy morning ahead of us. So, let's jump right into it, starting with the light pruning. So, here we are once again inside the garden doing some light pruning. Got my trusty shears right here. We're going to be starting off with the runt. Always remember to sterilize the equipment. We use peroxide. Just a little wash over. Nothing fancy. Let's just start looking for any old. See, some of them you can just pull off. You know, in some real bad, well, not really bad weather, but some real rainy days out here in Southeast Texas. Garden is kind of humid right about now. I don't know how much longer I can stay in this jacket. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna take this jacket off right now. Most of the leaves on the runt are pretty much, they're so withered, I can just pull them off. I'll even just touch them and they're pretty much just coming off of my hand. So stuff like this. I'm not gonna recuperate. Let's take that off. See another one. She's good to go. Move the camera around that way. I haven't started to defoliate yet. So I'm just still letting them go in veg. This one's actually pretty, pretty good. Not much. Let's 
much. You see that stem? So. How about the size of a Sharpie marker? If I had to guess her height, I'd say probably about two feet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is move the plants around, just bring them over here. That way you rather than me having to move the camera all around, stopping and starting and all that stuff. That lady over there. Bring this big lady in over here. Turn the camera. Bring it down a little bit. Bingo. Got quite a few I want to remove all of this. There we go. That's a nice size for you, Sandy. But they're wasting energy on our plant, you know, sucking away energy that could be put better use like I mentioned uh, garden maintenance is real important you know you should always take time to do garden maintenance Sometimes just a touch and they're ready to go. You see that one begins to tap from Caterpillar, army worm. Yeah. 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 We have reduced the army worm problem significantly so we don't have that as being an issue anymore. Well, at least not that I can visibly tell. Let that one stay on. Yeah, this is Michael Shumaya, straight out of Kingston, Jamaica, you know what I mean? I want to big up the Nuram family, seeing my like Bubble Zion, Empress Tara, 
Prince Patrick with the bar and his okay. I'm pretty much done with that lady. Prince Kadamawi, you see? Slash your blessed and set his in a Zion sound of the nap. Make some space back here. Bring this lady over. Let's pick it up a little bit so you can see the top. Okay, you see that. Get rid of that. And get rid of its twin on the other side. back in her spot. Coming out the bottom of the pot. Close. I want to look at this one has a nice yeah. it's a good size little trunk right there I don't know if that's a beneficial insect or a predator insect, <laughs> but it's not gonna be on the plant anymore. If someone knows what kind of insect that is, whether it's beneficial or not, you can let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Put her back in her spot.
a lot of this stuff is just coming off to the touch and it's not that much. Most of it's already fallen inside of the pot. I think this one here also has some roots going out of the bottom. I can see them. Yeah, man, the garden is a real mess right now. Real muddy in the back here. Naram family, Zion Sound International, Love and Light, Empress Sativa represent. Garden maintenance, people. Garden maintenance. Gotta keep it up. in place. nitrogen deficiency so we got it back online probably gonna transplant this maybe next week so a bigger part doing good right now though everything else I'll let stay on for right now is the one that we transplanted last week. Mm. He's pretty good. Actually, doesn't have anything to come off. There's a little thing that's inside the part, but I didn't have to take that off. That already fell off. Yep. So, we're done with the pruning. Everything looks good. pruning complete now we're gonna move on to what are we gonna move on to oh yes putting the sticky traps all right so now we're about to uh hang our sticky traps and this is the sticky traps that we'll be using grower's edge amford white fly sticky trap 
It's effective, long lasting, and weatherproof. You yeah, see how weatherproof it is. <laughs> so, what I want to do, I'm going to put a steak in. Make sure it's in there real good. That should hold. I've never used one of these before, so we read the instructions. Always read instructions. It says peel, a, uh, peel trap apart, reverse fold, hang with supplied, twist tie from branch or stake at plant level. Place traps every six, seven feet or at the end of each row. Okay. Sounds simple enough. So, pull apart. Let's expose that hole. We are sticky. Okay, so he supplied us. Five traps come in a package. Here's the twist tie. I'm just gonna take my clamp, attach it like this to this post. Shake plants. And what that does is release any white flies or any little small flying insects that might be on and they're supposed to be automatically attracted to that yellow and they'll fly in that direction I got one more I'm going to set up in that direction. Let me turn the camera a little bit. You may or may not be able to see me down here. Let me do a hand check. Yes, you can. Turn it just a little bit more. This one. Drop this plan off a little bit so it doesn't get hit on the hammer. Oh! Using myself. Talking about the plant, don't get hit from the hammer. Hit myself with the hammer. That wasn't fun. So I'll survive. Punch out the hole. Give me down, yeah. We're calling on the phone. 
Here's the other one that he put in. I think two should do it. You have some other sticky traps for you have, but they're pretty much fully loaded. But those are like flies. They actually caught a few more. It's even dragonflies, huh? Poor dragonfly. Wrong place, wrong time. Alright, last but not least, Super Crocker. So let me get the camera in position. Almost about done. Okay, so super cropping basically is a form of high stress training. And what it does is it you're hurting the plant but like in a planned way. And what are you doing? You're taking your, your fingers, you're just squeezing it, and it sort of like crushes the tissue right there, and you're able to bend the plant. Now what that does is help the plant to grow a little bit bushier and it may even increase thc content which i really don't need in this case because this is a hemp plant but i'm just showing doing it for a demonstration and I'll, i'm just going to just do this plant uh and maybe a few over here as well so here's a, just a demonstration super cropping take my thumb and i guess that's called the index finger i'm not sure a pointing finger i'll call it <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze. You actually hear when it crushes, and then I just bend down. Now, if you look right here, you can see where I super cropped that one, and it it healed back. So that's pretty much what's gonna happen with the rest of them. Right here, I'm gonna super crop this. I'm gonna squeeze it right there until I hear it crush. And then. Crush. I can hear a little snap. And then. Okay, let's go to this one. Squeeze. You hear the crush. And then you don't want to, you got to be real, make sure that you squeeze it. Because you don't want to end up actually tearing your plant or breaking it. You know, that could invite disease and pests to crawl up into your plant. So you just want to be real gentle, yet firm. And you squeeze it. And taking your time to bend it over. And there you have it, super cropping. Now, yeah, so we've reached the end of another episode of Street Smugglers Growing Hemp in Texas. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, this morning we took care of uh, three things, really. We did some light pruning inside the garden, removing uh, yellowing and dying leaves. Um, we did some super cropping, as well as we put out some sticky traps to catch white fly, amphids, and moths, you know, any kind of flying insect that might be 
uh, a pest in your garden. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. If anyone happens to know whether that insect that I removed earlier was a beneficial insect or whether it was a predator insect, uh, I'd like to know that as well. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Street Smugglers, we out. I mix the green with the gravel Yeah, yeah, spending much in the slammer whoa, whoa. I told the cars by the flowers You know that money bring power yeah, yeah. I blew her back in the shower Showed you that nigga a coward I hope that secret was out I'ma let you go and blow the bag, baby then I hit the trap and make it back, yeah, yeah I'ma let you go and blow the back, yeah, yeah Then I hit the trap and make it back, yeah I swear to God if they tell you, baby, to grind no back The trap will take you around the world, I'm talking about Central Bay Boy, you make you walk around, baby, make no mistake Don't let you do me to your girl, man, it's not okay Do you drink pina coladas? Change your life in a second, yeah, yeah Bitch, me in your life is the best I swear to God, if they tell you, baby, the crime don't pay The trap will take you around the world, I'm talking about Central Bay Money make you walk around, baby, make no mistake Don't let you do me to your girl, man, it's not okay Do you drink pina coladas? Ooh, ooh, ooh. everywhere with a shout -out.